Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Max and Max's models here. And uh, today we got out to the Tarbis and got some work done on this Halloween. So for starters, I got some work done on the Arizona. I got some of that Mr. Surfacer 1000 uh, to prime it. At first, I taped off the hull for it since I had primed initially in black. So I taped off the area that's going to be the water line, uh, the cheat line, whatever you want to call it, that black uh, water line. And then... Uh, Proceeded to uh, put the Mr. Surfacer on it and go ahead and uh, get, uh, unfortunately some of these photos didn't turn out that well. I apologize. I must have had a little handshake or something. Anyway, uh, important thing is, is we're starting to make some progress on it. And uh, once uh, this all gets done, I have the paint diagrams with the exact correct colors using Vallejo for the proper uh, blue gray color. I think it's 898. So that's all ready to go uh, when I get back. So I also got to work on the Captain Kirk. I used this uh, dark yellow as a base. Then I mixed some uh, more appropriate, what looked like proper yellow for the shirt and then airbrushed it. Unfortunately, uh, it turned out I did not make enough. I got about three quarters of the way done and ran out. And I'm like, well, my amount of paint and Hurricane Hobbies is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. But as the fates would have it, Ian texted me. He had some models he wanted me to come look at. So uh, I was able to get in there and buy some paints. I mixed up this time way more than I needed and uh, got the thing uh, coated a couple of times. And then I was shocked to find these brown speckles or spots on the back of the arm. And I thought, is it fish eyeing? Is, is something happening? And it turned out that no, it was because uh, I found a matching set of splatter on my cell phone. Apparently, I'd somehow managed to splatter some paint and got on it while it was drying. So I just redid it and everything worked out. I also uh, made a little work on uh, uh, painting the, uh, getting the first coats on the A4 Skyhawk and getting the fuselages of the airliners underway. So, uh, while I was at Hurricane Hobbies, uh, I got to see all this cool stuff that Ian just got in in, a, in some sort of a, a state sale or something. I'm not sure how you, but it's not from a regular vendor. He got this stuff from someone. And so, let's go look at some of the models that he got. And we'll be back shortly. All right, we're here at Hurricane Hobbies where they have this 112 scale Revell 57 Chevy. It's a three in one kit. You can tell by the size of it. Big, big, big box. Then we have from Testers this Dodge 426 Hemi kit, and it's uh, electric and has all kinds of uh, working stuff. Then we have these Ravel, basically pre-painted, I guess they're just assembly kits. Um, we have a couple of these AMT sort of two-in-one things. You can make the dragster and the uh, hot rod, uh, the topo, and uh, it's in a metal box he has two of those I have a couple of these uh, Lincoln Mint ultra metal series Chevy street rod engine one six scale and uh, then we come over here this is from classic metal works and this looks more like an assembly kit pretty heavy and then we have the Revell Plymouth Hemi drag engine this is heavy I, I think this may be metal also because that is one heavy kit then we have six of these uh, testers hot rod kits. I think these are all metal also. They feel pretty heavy. In fact, I think we opened one of them up and saw that they're pre-decaled. So they're probably more along the lines of assembly kits. And uh, this was bought from a private collection? Yes. So uh, they haven't been priced yet, but these are available at Hurricane Hobbies. Well, guys, that was today's activities. There probably won't be any more content for at least five days because, as you know, I have to go to work. However... I do have an overnight in Orlando. I'm planning to get together with a glue trooper on Saturday evening. So hopefully we're still going to have a live stream Saturday night from his uh, remote location. And uh, we're also planning on filming a documentary on uh, early wooden model kits. That's uh, hopefully how the weekend will go. And that's what we have for this evening. Happy Halloween. And as always, model on.